Hello everyone, welcome to my let's play. Alright, so what we're gonna do here? Well, first of all, we're gonna move to the high road. Let me just check if there's any scrap around that I might want to take. Yeah, I can see something right here. What is it? What is it? Tell me. Ah, poor Thomas. I was kind of hoping we'd weapon parts. And we don't want to go straight into the high road. Why? Well, we have 35 weapon parts. So let's go to the Ark. Let's go talk to our bo big boss, whom I still don't trust. And probably never will. I think I will be very disappointed at the end of this game if he's a really a good guy. Because, like, I don't think he is. There's, like, too many hints and pieces and already established my theory. And I will stand by it. Till the end. That would be a really bad, like, hey, employee. Like, what can I help you with? You saved us all and I still don't trust you. He's like, what do you want from me? I saved everyone. I saved you. And you just, Take it like... Easy. I don't know if he saved me, but like, I, I live in this arc and he's the leader, so like, he's taking care of us. I'm like, I don't trust you, you're Your evil. search for Hammond continues. Good. His skill in machines keeps the Ark's heart beating. But his curiosity... His curiosity may be his downfall. Always going deeper into the zone. Searching for something that's not there. I beg you, stalkers, find Hammond before his questions kill him. Farewell. Okay. Remember your elder's guidance. I'll try to find Hammond before his questions kill him. Alright, let's go to the high road. Now, I love the high road for one reason. The high road is kind of like the first area that really shows you how you're supposed to play the game. And what I mean by that is that this game is very focused on stealth, so you're going to be wanting to use stealth to kill different enemies. And in the Fallen Angel, we couldn't quite have explored that because enemies are too close and you have to use grenades. But here, it's like the first time you're really going to, like, uh, you know, figure out which mutations to use on whom. And I really, really like that. Also, the information for this episode is going to be how... Uh, wh why do our people move around when you click on ambush? Those of you who don't know that, stay tuned. I'm not gonna tell you right now, because it'll be the fun to tell you in a few minutes. <laughs> oh. I, I'm having a good day, how about you? Alright, let's go see what we have here. We have some common scrap, let's take it. And we have a note, let's read a note. Evacuation guidelines, evacuation route D1 Hoga. Only bring essential items, non-essential items will not be loaded onto ferries. It will be thrown out. Warm waterproof, waterproof clothing, ready to eat, tinned or dried food. Basic tools, medicine and first aid supplies are allowed. No pets. No personal items that will not fit into a shoebox. What if I have a pet that will fit into a shoebox? Can I take the hand down? I don't know. And this is the pad. Now, clearly, the evacuation wasn't very good because everybody's dead. So, you know, make better plans next time. You know, maybe you should have allowed pets. Maybe then you would have survived. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. But like, <laughs> Watch out okay, for let's see what kind of enemies you have here. Hey, you on the truck? Ugly face. You see anything out there? No, there's nothing out there. It's the zone. zone. And stop calling me ugly face. Look at your face. I can't look at my face, it's my face! <laughs> now put your eyes out there and look for intruders! I can't look at my face, it's my face! Don't call me ugly face! I love that, this is just so good. Alright, so, now uh, for those of you who watch my guides, I wanted to make it interesting and kill these guys differently, however, they, you actually can't. You actually have to hogrush the shaman, we can't use skull splitter on him, because if we did, then we would have to use Hogrush on either the Hunter or the Medbot. Those in the back, I don't mean the one on top of the building, but the Hunter that's standing on the ground and the Medbot. And, uh... All these dead steel chariots. Where did the riders go? If you Hogrush one of them, it will alert the other one. That's kind of a problem, so that's why you have to kind of uh, Hogrush the Shaman and then use, for example, Skull Splitter on the Hunter, which will work. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Well, uh, let's uh, try to hide some of our people. Of course you could do it if you're not too worried about doing this perfectly, then like, 
Absolutely, you can uh, skull spitter the shaman and then hug us the other guys. But I think uh, I think we're just gonna try to do this. The actually, I think this might be a good place to attack. Even should be far enough. Or now, if I move Borman to about. Well, if I move him here, then I have to hog rush him, like, against that. Alright, that's probably not gonna work, is it? Okay, let's, let's exit the combat. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. And I think we'll wait till the, till the shaman moves a bit further away. How about... How about now, actually, is what I'm thinking about. He's fairly far away from that hunter. This sh if this doesn't work, then, like... I'm very, very confused. Oh, and we have someone at such a bad position. Come on, girl. What you doing? I'm closer. Thank you, girl. Like, I'm just gonna stand behind and not fight with you boys. Like, um, that's not the world we live in anymore. You don't have the option to skip out a fight, girl. Sorry. Or not sorry, whichever you're excited about the most. I, guess. I think she likes to fight. She seems like a girl that likes to fight. Okay, enough talking about Selma. Let's uh, hogash the shaman and let's really, really pray that's not gonna alert that hunter over there. <laughs> no, it doesn't! Ooh, thank you. I was worried about that, I admit it. Alright, ducks. Big boy, come here. Or big duck. Yes. Never mind. Shoot. Oh, does that hurt? Now if you were to be a mutant, what what kind of mutant would you like to be? Do you want to look like a human or like someone else? I think it would be fun to be like a tiger mutant. Wouldn't we look cool like that? Because but I I mean when I'm looking at the mutants we have, I've got to say that Dex is the most beautiful of them all. Because the humans are kind of boring. They look like humans, and Borman well Borman Borman's not that pretty. I mean he is he's big and strong, but he's not pretty. Dex on the other end. And there's gonna be some more mutants and we're gonna talk about whether they're pretty <laughs> later, I guess. Oh, I, I'm having a strange day. Hopefully you are enjoying it anyway. Okay. Hunter and Medbot. Now next up we are gonna kill the hunter with skull splitter. So we gotta get ducks to a fairly uh wait, can we use the skull splitter? Yes we can. We can use the mothlings, well couldn't care less about the mothlings. Um, I, whoa, 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 okay, we gotta wait till that hunter on top of the building goes on the other side, and then we can just very nicely, uh, skull splitter this hunter, and destroy him into tiny little pieces, because that's what we do here, we kill people. So, uh, the hunter is gone, so we can now finally use my skull splitter on ducks. Let's go. Yeah, the hunter's like, I can see you, and I'm like, I don't care, because I'll kill you anyways. <laughs> oh. Now our two, well, two other people. Thelma, come on. Dude, I, I, this is really funny how you kind of sh can shoot through their back, it's, it's a little, well actually, okay, so she's moving to the side, but if you're standing far enough away, yeah, let's do it with Barman. He's gonna shoot through the other two guys, which I think is kind of funny. Oh, he got it in between us. So maybe it's just people who stand behind Borman and they should throw him out of that. Get your asses okay. over here. Alright, so we have a medbot and we have this hunter on top and we have a butcher now. At this point, we do not have any of our abilities. So uh, what we gotta do is gotta kill somebody. Now, that medbot over there, he does not attack people. The only thing he does is he tries to revive somebody. So it's a good idea to have um, a gaper or any other weapon that knocks back enemies because you can knock him back during the time that he's healing somebody and that will that will kind of like stop him from healing so he has to go and heal again. Or you can use tree hugger to stop him from moving. First thing we're gonna do... Wait, actually I do have the hog rush back. Or, no, I don't. I need one more. Yeah, okay. Fine, so let's let's uh, kill this butcher now. Where are the ducks? Like, standing on the other side. What's wrong with you? It's not like we care about him, because we can still kill this butcher without him. But I'm like... Apparently, Dex decided, you know what? I've fought enough today. I just I just want to rest. You do it. I don't want to do it. Yeah, well, okay, fine, Dex. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Not like our lives are at stake, or people trying to kill us. I mean, it's not a big deal. 
Okay. You finally figured out how to use I was gonna attack the hunter, but then I realized that it's actually better to attack the medbot first. So let me uh, move my people there so you don't have to watch me run around. And uh, oh, we have a chest here. Um, wanna look at it, or do we want do we look at it after we kill the medbot? Let's look at it now. What's here? Gladiator armor. Vero is immune to critical hits. Lightly padded defensive clothing used during ancient gladiator stick fighting tournaments. These duel were often staged upon ice to increase participants' chance of injury or death. Do you know what they're talking about? <laughs> Hockey. <laughs> stick fighting gladiator tournaments. Love that. <laughs> That's just so good. So good. Okay. So, uh, I was gonna kill the hunter first, but it's actually easier to kill the medbot because I want to use a fancy trick that I've read about for killing the hunter that is not in the guide, so... At least something new in this one. And I also promised you information. That information is about why do people move when we ambush, and we're gonna talk about that in the, when we attack the medbot. So just uh, let the hunter walk away. Go away, man. I don't want to see you ever again, except in five minutes when I'll kill you. Now, okay. Ambushing. You could see that everybody moves a little bit. Now, they haven't moved at any good places because what they try to do is they try to hide. So, for example, if you have somebody in this square and you ambush, they will automatically hide behind this uh, rock. Or if you have them, like, in these squares, they'll automatically hide behind the tree. If you have nothing around, then they'll just kind of move because there's nothing to hide behind. And I think that's really, really cool. I, that's, I really like that feature. Okay, so we got to start with Boromir. And we got to hog rush this... Um, Medbot. So let's do it. Go at him. We probably could have used run and gun, but it's not necessary, so I'm not gonna bother. Come on, ducks. Kill him. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is what he got. Oh, uh, alright, Selma girl, let's go there. And shoot as well. And he's knocked out for like one more turn, which means we have two player turns to kill him. So we don't really have to worry about much of anything, just finish him. And ducks will have the honor of the killing shot. Let's go. Ah, I like how the med body yells. It's like a robotic. Ah. But it shouldn't hurt him anyway, because he's well robot. He probably doesn't have Come some extra here. pain. Because we don't like pain, so we don't make our robots feel it. So, um, I mean, I guess he registers, like, the, on the pain thing. He has, like, something high. But still, like, he doesn't. So good for him. Alright, so, um, now we gotta fight the hunter. So what, what is the big trick, right? Oh, uh, first of all, let me, let me hide my people here. Uh, Bormin, go away. I don't care about you right now, but I want Selma. Selma, go, go, go there, go. Okay, Bormin, uh, it would be really nice if you could hide behind. Thank you, Bormin. Now, what you can do is, um, um, yeah, it should be. Uh, what we're gonna, oh, right, uh, weapons. Uh, we gotta give the Gaper to Selma. Why? Well, Selma has the chance to move on a high ground, and I'm gonna give her the gladiator armor and ducks this other armor, because why not? She has uh, the the um, super tender's ability, so she can get uh, go up on a, on a higher positions, and that means that she can go there and she can use the gaper to shoot the hunter. And when she does that, she can throw the hunter to the ground, which has two benefits. The first benefit is the fact that it will allow me the the boys because uh, right the boys because the hunter is on a high ground the boys the best shot they can get is 75 percent doesn't matter where you try to move them around they will never get better because he's on a high ground but gaper knocks back enemies so you can use selma get her up here knock him back so that he falls down that will a hurt him which is super cool so aside from the shot she will also hurt him by throwing him down but also it will uh Give the boys a better chance to shoot the hunter. So let's get her up there. Come on, girl. Tell me what you've got. The hunter's like, whoa, you just jumped at me. I can definitely see you now. And now we're gonna knock him back. So knock him back, girl. You right. And you can see that we did the six damage and then we fell to the ground. And he got an extra four damage. And now the boys have a hundred percent shot. So 
Isn't that great? That's I like that. So we don't actually need to use any ability aside from the passive ab passive ability that Selma has. Bye bye, man. You are now kaput. So this is why we're knocking back enemies is good. In most cases, the knocking back enemies is a bit kind of like uh, hey, because it can get uh, your enemies like too far away from you for stuff. But it is good for for knocking people off high places because then you can like avoid using an ability. It's nice. Like we didn't need to use the skull spear, so we can now use it more in the cave of fear. This is where we're gonna go next. Um, what time do we have for this episode? We have a little bit more time, so let's kill a few people in the Cave of Fear. We're gonna finish it, uh, in the next episode. Low Cave of Fear. So yeah, so the, so the ambush move is really interesting. I didn't know for quite a while why, why they, why they, yeah, sorry. Why they are moving. Okay, perfect. Weird place so for a mass grave. What were all these people doing? Running away, I think. Maybe the Red Plague hit their town and they needed to evacuate. Evacuating or stampeding over each other to be the first one out. Dumbass ancients. I have no comment on this one. Okay, so what enemies do we have here? Come on, show, show me my enemies. Where are you? Um, what? Uh, you yeah. know those stalkers we captured, right? Right? They, uh... They ran away. Uh, I lost them. You had your stalkers escape? The bubbleheads are gonna be mad at you! You better get them back! I can't! The boat took them across the river. And now the bubbleheads have the boat? But where's your boat? If you don't get those stalkers back, they'll shrink your brain! He's so scared, like, ah, uh, the stack okay. has the there. You had me at the ghoul screams, but now a pile of friggin' bodies? You wanna give me a heart attack? Alright, we have a lonely butcher here. Now, we do need to revive Borman's Hogrash, so we are actually gonna fight him. Otherwise, we would leave them for later, as usual. Just be careful that I currently have a Gaper equipped on Sama. We definitely don't want to be using that. Oh, right, actually, you can look at, um,. Borman and Selma now, they've actually hidden behind these cars. Now it's not so useful against this butcher. We have an enemy over here, they would be hidden. So I think that's I think it's a really cool feature. So uh yeah, I like that. And it and it looks very cool, especially if you're behind some like like a tree or something. The way they move it looks kind of fancy. I, I like it. Okay, uh so, okay, Selma has the ancient pistol back. Cool. Just kill him, please. You did good. Yeah, I don't think he can call a girl after you just kill her. <laughs> okay, we get a Molotov. Over here. Nice. Now, we're gonna leave this... Actually, we are not gonna leave this butcher for later because we're gonna kill those guys loudly. Um, and I don't think it's far enough. Got ourselves a way out, boys. I suggest we use it. Oh no, you're not going out. You're going to fight. Oh, but we'll read the note first. I'm sorry. Dear Tina, there's no way out. I'm trapped here in my car. The traffic stopped moving days ago and the tunnel collapsed. I'm not sure you will ever get to read this. In case you do, I have something to admit. Something which I'm very sorry for and I regret that I will carry this to my grave. Do you remember the period your pet turtle Snappy didn't swim up to you when you called his name? Just because it wasn't Snappy. But a replacement turtle as unfortunately the first Snappy perished. And I accidentally dropped my beard trimmer in his tank. It was quick. He didn't feel anything after the first few minutes of absolute, total agony. That he should know. Also, he is now a she. The story ran out of male turtles and I was worried he would be upset. Sorry, I love you. Always yours, Jonas. <laughs> Jonas, um, yeah. I just... I just I have no sympathy for Jonas. You don't you don't you don't hurt turtles. That's like you can kill ghouls, but you cannot kill turtles. That's not what we do here. Uh, I mean, oh, I don't know how Tina will feel about that. I don't think she'll care, considering that like I'll probably never find a note anyway. You know. Let's kill the witcher. 
and we'll take Borman and finish him off. Wanna say something, Borman? Say something mean. Sleep it off. Oh man, that was my shot. Okay, apparently Dex talks instead. Okay. Hey, Bonner. That's why Dex is my favorite, because he does what I want him to do, even when I tell somebody else to do it. Uh, okay, so um Do we kill these guys now or in the next episode? Oh we we have time, let's do it now. So let me uh prep people into position. And then I think uh, I I'll fast forward well. that for you, and then we'll do it. Now, in the guide, we had used the, the small grenade, but this time we're gonna try to do it without it. However, I don't know if Borman's close enough to Hogash. Yes, he is. But it spends two action points. Um, yeah, it will spend two action points anyway. So we can do an action after spending all action points. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with run and gun. And uh, do we even need run and gun? Because we're gonna hog rush this spiral. Then Selma can use her gaper to shoot. Oh yeah, we need one per more person to shoot. Okay, fine. Oh, and we gotta we gotta exit the combat and give him a better weapon. We need to have a he needs to have something that does a damage of five. So we'll take the skater gun. Or actually, maybe I should have given him Thomas ancient pistol. Um, no, he'll do it with the skater gun. Okay, it's fine. So let's try again. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go with run and gun on Borman, and we're gonna hog rush this 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 spiral. I wanna hog rush you. Nice. You don't care that it alerts the other two guys. I don't care. Then we're gonna shoot this hunter. But not with the mirror needle pistol with the skater gun. So let's go at you. Perfect. Now he has an, an HP of 11. Which is actually enough because between Dax and Salma, we can uh, do damage of 11. So let's move Dax here and he will shoot the hunter. There's nothing all that... Dex is just like shooting the normal way, nothing all that exciting about him, right? So let's just go to town and kill him. Thank you. He's actually on fire, so we wouldn't even need the gate on Selma. Now Selma, Selma cannot move. Selma will shoot the hunter, but before she does that, she will uh, use a tree hugger on... Oh, I guess she'll use it on all three of them, but we only care about the med ball. Uh, even though it says two, the tree hugger only works for one turn. Very important. So do not let yourself be confused by the numbers. The number is wrong. And she'll use the gaper to kill the hunter. Now because the medbot is um, unable to move, he cannot heal anybody. And he, kill, uh, he can alert his friends, but his friends already know. So, so. his friend is the pirate. Personal injury, personal injury detected. Can provide on approach vector. Yeah, personal injury detected, which is still useless because cannot move. Now during the next turn he will be able to move. Let me check if with the other weapon... Yeah, here I have a 100% shot and I don't actually need to use the Gaper for this one, so I'll just use um, Borman and finish it off with a Dax. Oh, I cannot finish it, off, shouldn't finish it off with Dax right now because... Very important. Because if I did, Borman would go on fire because Pyros, when you kill them, they're, they're, they uh, they blow up. Uh, Dax is not on fire. Cool. So we're gonna uh, use uh, Dax to shoot the med ball. Did that. What do you think about that? And huh? in the next turn, Berman's gonna move backwards, and then we'll kill the pirate. So See, the, so the med ball is now trying to revive this guy. Now, first up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move backwards with Borman. This should be far enough, and kill that pyro. No, kill the pyro, please. See, we're just outside of the range. One step closer, we'll be on fire. Now, Selma, Selma girl, she's gonna use the gaper again, and she'll shoot the medbot. This will knock him back, and that means that he will not heal the enemy. He will have to move to him again to try to heal him again, which is great for us because that means he doesn't revive him. And uh, also, uh, I I read somewhere that. Um, is Dax on fire? He's not on fire. I keep getting worried. Man, you know what? I'm gonna move him back because I'm really worried about him being on fire. Uh, Dax? 
Go out of the fireplace. <laughs> uh, Selma? Knock him back again. You will not hear your friend. Uh, I read somewhere that um, enemies that have been revived do not contribute to your experience. However, they definitely contribute to your kills needed to revive um, abilities. And I'm not 100% sure about whether the, the not uh, attributing it to your uh, experience is true. But I, I, I mean, I don't have a reason not to believe it. But uh, it, I do like the fact that it helps you revive uh, your abilities quicker. This can be uh, very useful in some cases. Okay, we got Mimir Driver 30 plus 2 additional critical damage and 30% chance to knock back enemies. Ancient Drill Unit which can be mounted to any weapon. This adds a high speed spin to whatever projectile is fired, increasing the chance of knocking back its target. Let's look at the loot. Oh, I mean, open the chest then. This is where we'll finish this episode, right here with this chest. You get a state switcher, 5 damage, 6 crit damage, and a range of 20. This will allow you to attack enemies from very, very far away. A roughly crafted long range rail rifle formed of parallel bank of batteries and magnets. This alignment allows the state switcher to fire a metal slug with some force and to quite a far distance. But hey, it. Give me my weapons. We got a smoke grenade, which is nice. Okay, let me uh, finish it here, and we're gonna continue in the next episode. If you like this one, write it down in the comments. Bye bye.